Here I am in Schoology. I've already watched two videos to help get my content from Schoology over into PowerSchool, our new system. And just to very briefly recap, here are those steps. I clicked Courses, then I clicked on See All. Then I clicked on Archived. Next, I chose one of my courses. I'll take this one. Once I was viewing my course and all the content it contained, I clicked on Options, and I clicked Save Course to Resources. And I followed the steps so that I had that course right here in my resources. And there it is. Now, the next thing I did was I clicked on this dropdown, and I clicked Export. I chose the particular folder that I wanted to export, Honors Physics. And this is really important. I export one single semester at a time. When you bring that file, that semester, into PowerSchool, you'll be bringing it into a single semester course page. In PowerSchool, we have a course page for the first semester, and we have a totally different, unconnected course page for the second semester. So then I clicked Export and I waited for my process to finish. Once the export was finished, I clicked on this drop-down beside my name, I clicked on Transfer History, and then I clicked on this gear with my export, and I clicked Download. These export files only last for one day, by the way. This August 7 export is expired already on August 9th. The file that you just downloaded goes into your downloads, and that's really not where you want it. So from here on, everything you're watching in the video is new. I'm going to right-click on this icon with the folder and select my downloads. If you don't have that as an option, you can simply click once, left-click once on the folder icon, and then find downloads. Here's the common universal file that I just downloaded. But Downloads is a really disorganized place for me, as you can see. Let me open up a new window by holding Control on my keyboard and then pushing the N button. I'm going to pull this over to the right and let go. In this window, I'm going to go to My Documents. And I'm going to create a totally new folder. And I do that by right-clicking, and then I click New, and then I click Folder. I'm going to call this Schoology Exports. I double-click the folder to go in. And now I'm going to start clicking and dragging my, con my content over into this folder. I'm moving it from my downloads, and here's another one from my downloads into this well-organized folder. And that's going to be a really important way for us to keep these files even after our Schoology accounts are deactivated. Next, I'm going to take that content and upload it into PowerSchool. Here I am in PowerSchool's Unified Classroom tool. I've just logged in, and now I want to go to my class page. So I click on Class Page. The common cartridge or universal file I just downloaded and then moved to a different folder, that's for Honors Physics. And what course am I viewing now? This is IB Physics. So let me click on the course name. And it was a second semester course that I just saved, so this is what I want, semester two. And now I'll choose the Honors Physics course. I have this first page, and I really don't want any first page here. I just want to import everything I have fresh with nothing else. So let me delete the first page by clicking on Organize Pages, this icon next to Add Page. Next, I click the trash can to delete this page. And I click Apply. So now I see Page Not Found. But that makes sense, because I don't have any pages. I just deleted them all. So let's put some back in by importing our content. I click on Manage Class, and then I come down to Import, Export, and click here. 
I am importing, so I make sure the Import tab is selected, not Export. I choose a file, and I'm going to go find that file that I just downloaded. Where's the folder that I'm looking for? Schoology Exports. This is so easy to find. And then I double click here, or click it once, and then click Open. So here's my file. I have to upload the file to this website. And once it's finished uploading, I then have to import the uploaded file. It's important not to click the X while you're waiting for this process to complete. And there we are. So the file is now stored on the website. And now I'm ready to say to the website, take that file you've got and import it into my class page. So let's click Import. And here we are, 425 items to go. That's going to take a while. So you can actually close this page if you wish and simply click again to check your status. Click Manage and then click Import Export. And if I scroll down, here is the import that's ongoing. If I click here, it'll tell me, well, <laughs> still at zero. So this is going to take a while. I've had this take as long as half an hour before it had finished putting everything in my class page. And if you come back to your page and the import is halfway through, you should see only half of your stuff there. So if you see half your stuff, that probably means it's successful. It's just not quite finished yet. And that's how you import into PowerSchool.